stone and it, it's also thermally resistant as well as fire resistant stone. It does not crack at the uh, same time. So you have different stones you have to select for different types of purposes. And if I go into the details of each one of these, there are uh, hundreds and hundreds of stones that you could be using at different places uh, in your houses. Now, because we are concentrated mostly on the masonry work, I'll be focusing on that. So we already discussed all of these types of stones here and their masonry, but I didn't discuss about the mortar. Yes, there is the mortar that you are using. I, you have to use cement, lime and fine aggregates or mixes of cement and fine aggregate. You can be using that as mortar for the filling of this. So there is a separate code for that. And uh, 2250-1981, the, the choice of mortar that you, you could use for the stone masonry construction. The cement that you, you are using is ordinary Portland cement that you would be using in such types of constructions. Then lime, this is the lime. So it, it's mostly it's a glass a and B that's used as well as class C, which will also have a certain portion of pozzolanic material like Surki added to it. So you could be using that in the lime portion. So pozzolanic material is the Surki itself, or you could also have that as fly ash, which we have already discussed. You could add, use that. So other than that, what is very important in stone masonry construction is that you have to maintain the waterproofing or the stone masonry construction. So you could be using the dam proof courses at the bottom of the stone masonry con construction near the bare joint. So you can do waterproofing kar sakte ho and so you could provide a separate layer of a dam proof course in between the stone masonry construction or it's near the top of the uh, certain features like you have if you are using stone masonry construction in roofs here. So you have to use the flashings. So these are flashings that you provide or you have the cover flashings or you have the apron flashing so that the water does not seep through the stone masonry construction. So all the rains that are falling here that should go over this flashing and then it should go onto the roof. Similarly, whatever the rainwater percolating here, it should not go into the stone masonry. So there is has to be a protection of the face of the masonry there as well as the bottom of the roof as well as this uh, joint has to be sealed so flashings are provided it could be provided in different things you could have steel flashings you could have stainless steel flashings you could have rubber flashings then you could add a waterproofing layer over it so these are the flashings that we usually provide in the stone masonry construction to make it uh, other than the damp proof course you to make it waterproof so this is how the stone masonry construction is generally done. But this is just one type of stone masonry construction. It is a rubble stone masonry construction. And how, what are the requirements of uh, very important in this code, which is detailed? What are the requirements of masonry construction? So you have to set out the stone, you have to dress the stone. So the first thing that you need is to set out the stone masonry wall ko khada karna hai. So you have to make the detailings of the setting out. Next, you have to go for the dressing of the stone. So how is the dressing of the stone done? I just showed you a figure wherein certain workers were dressing the stones with the hammer. So and that's dressing of the stones. Once that is done, then you move into the uh, aapko construction start karni hai. So uske liye aapko scaffolding chahiye. Scaffolding is जिसे हम कश्मीरी में खवाजा कहते हैं तो वो खड़ा करना है ताकि यू कैन नाउ सिट एंड द वर्कर कैन सिट एंड देन स्टार्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द स्टोन सो स्कैफोल्डिंग इज डन वंस दैट इज डन आई एम गोइंग ब्रीफली थ्रू दिस बिकॉज़ दिस इज जस्ट टू हैव द नॉलेज अबाउट दीस थिंग्स देन द स्टोन्स हैव टू बी हैंडल्ड properly uh, how the stones have to be handled you have to pick up the stones so you, you require certain tools to pick up the stone 
let me show you if there is a figure here. Yes, this one. So these are levis. These are known as levises, which are used for picking up of the stone and, and transporting it to the height. Because a stone has got a quite a good uh, height, so you require certain and instruments or the tools to pick up the stone. So these are levises which are used to pick up the stones. So there are various types of levises. The pin levis is the most prominent one which is used to pick up the stone. So once that handling is done, you then you require other tools like plumb bob. Usko, you have to maintain the face of the stone. So you require a plumb bob. So you level to level a plumb bob. You need a line which is a rassi or a daga where the mason keeps the level perfect. So straight edge is required just say it's a uh, mason uh, i just forgot it so wo ek lakdi ka ye hota hai flat hota hai so uh, it's kept on the face of the uh, the stone work or the brick masonry work the mason square which is uh, then required uh, by the masons to get the uh, correct uh, uh, this angles and then the split level level so these instruments are always required even in the brick masonry construction and and the trowels and others and other things are required by the mason to put up the mortar so finally the watering has to be done once the masonry construction is done and it has to be watered for and cured for at least two or three weeks so when the water is done, so finally, and finally, then you had you could be fixing up the frames. So stone masonry work may start up. Then hold fast are used in the stone masonry work. So it has to be embedded within the concrete as well in such type of masonry construction. So you keep one spaces open wherein the hold fast are to be provided. So these stones are fit in later or here the concrete block is placed. So this is how the stone masonry construction is done in such cases. Then you have the second type of stone masonry construction. So all other things are same. However, the, this stone masonry construction is known as the Eschler um, masonry construction. So there is another code here, same one, IS1597. But this is part two for Eschler masonry. Part one was for rubble masonry. So it's reprint. This is 1998, but there has been 2013. I couldn't get that, uh, but it's just a reprint. There isn't any uh, major change uh, there. So the, what is this Ashler masonry? So there are various types of Ashler masonries. The Ashler masonry is that masonry which is proper, which has got a proper face, a proper. Uh, perfect flat face. So how that is achieved? That's achieved by hammering, chiseling. Usko di aaram se uspe kam kiya jata hai ek ek stone pe. Usko bilkul face ko perfect banaya jata hai. So that is Ashler masonry. It's not a rubble masonry which has usko usko bhi tarasha jata hai into certain layers, but only the face, the tops and the bottoms are uh, unko. Uh, a chisel out par kiya jata hai, such that they fit onto one another, but it's not perfect there. But in Ashler masonry, it's very perfect. Isme, they are completely square in size or rectangular blocks. Is perfect banaya ja rahe hai, Ashler masonry. Ke. So this is plain Ashler masonry, the first one here. And, and second one is you, it is rough tooled. So it's Chote chote as it chisels as the is this visible, all of you? Yes, sir. So this is a rough tooled the rough tooling surface pick ki jati hai. Pahle surface ko flat banaya jata hai and then it's rough tooled. Usme chote chote suraks ki jate. Then you have the third or the rock quarry faced. Uh, this is the rock or the quarry face. Quarry is this where from you get the stones. Uh, so it is, it has got 
वहीं पर उस पर एक स्मूथनिंग फिनिश दी जाती है विद अ पर्टिकुलर टूल और इट्स दैट दैट इज इनफ तो वो ही किया जाता है इट यू विल सी इट एक फेस इफ आई गेट अ फिगर ऑफ दैट दैट इट हैज गॉट स्क्रैच लाइक थिंग्स ऑन टू इट दैट्स नोन एज क्वारी फेस फोर्थ इज द चैम्प वर्ड दिस दीज एंड्स हेयर of this masonry are the corner ends are chamfered usme aise chamfering ki gayi hai isko chamfering kehte hain this like this or you call it as filleting or chamfering and then you have the 2d sunk or the molded one again this is chamfered here and you have certain faces which are given uh, proper shapes like these so these are molded so एक्चुअली मैसनरी इज एक्चुअली ड्रेसड प्रॉपरली ड्रेसड मैसनरी ऑफ वाइल इज रबल मैसनरी वॉज नॉट ड्रेसड मैसनरी देन यू हैव नाउ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस हेयर यू रिक्वायर सर्टन टूल्स टू डू ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स तो for example in case of uh, plain ashlar you are you require fine fine tooling being done there on all the beds there are some of you who are joining and so you require a chisel jaise hum ya to chun chuna so that's uh, required for uh, this then you require a hammer जिस जिससे मारते हैं उस पर चिजल पे सो देन यू रिक्वायर सर्टन बुशिंग्स ड्रेस करने के लिए यू रिक्वायर सर्टन अदर टूल्स लाइक यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूडे यू हैव द ग्राइंडर्स अवेलेबल तो ग्राइंडर से आपको यू हैव टू यू कैन डू द बुशिंग ऑफ द फाइनल ड्रेस ड्रेसिंग एंड देन ग्राइंडर के ऊपर भी यू कैन उस पर ऊपर एक और फिनिशिंग जो करनी है पॉलिशिंग के लिए यू कैन इवन डू दैट विद इट्स सिमिलर टू ग्राइंडर बट इट्स अ पॉलिश ग्राइंडर सो यू कैन इवन यूज दैट इफ यू वांट अ क्लियर सरफेस ऑफ द स्टोन मेसनरी सो दीज आर द टूल्स दैट यू यू वुड बी यूजिंग हेयर इन द एसलर स्टोन मेसनरी for dressing so dressing is very important in case of plain ashlar masonry so how do you do dressing it is um, given here that you have you can do it dress it shall not have a depth of a gap of more than 3 mm from the straight edge face the exposed face and the straight edge so there it's uh, properly how do you do it it's given here i don't want to go into the details of this Yes, again you use the bond stones here, and very important related bond stones here that you can provide it up to six hundred mm in thickness. The bond stones, and in case so walls which are more than six hundred mm, then you have to go for overlapping uh, of two stones because uh, one stone greater than six hundred mm, it would be a you cannot get that stone which is thick enough as well. So you will mostly then get flat stones which are not required for Which are not recommended for bond stones. So, you have to use only 600 mm of bond stones. Then, finally, is the laying. Uh, so, how do you lay this stone masonry? It very important. Let me show you the figure. So, this is how the laying is done. So, this is a stretcher course first. St. Stretcher means. stretcher this is stretcher stone it is laid along the length uska face ki taraf ye aap ye aapka iska stone masonry ka face hai face means jo ki aapko dikh raha hai to ye stretcher hai stretcher means it's laid along the length again along the length lekin ye wala stone it's being laid along the width to isko kehte hai header stone it's a header again this is stretcher 
So I'll designate it with S. This is header H. This is S along the length. This is S, H, S, H, S, H. This is S, H, S, H, S, 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 H. This is S, H, S, H. Now you can see that I made a pattern here of different stones laid in S and H, stretcher and head. So header means uska head up ko dikh hai. Uski width dikh hai, to header hai. So stretcher is along the length hai, to wo aap ko dikh hai. So why is this patterns, why are these patterns provided first of all? What is the purpose of providing these stretcher and header patterns? They give a good look once you look at the stone masonry. Secondly, uh, in all types of masonry, whether it be stone or brick, you if you have this as discontinuous, this bond, vertical bond, this is ye ek stone dono ko join kar rahe, isko aur isko, fir yahan se isko aur isko join kar rahe. The top one that's laid over the bottom one. So, ek joint khatam ho raha hai. Jo ki ye joint ban sakta hai. Agar main stones ko seedhe aise dal do, एक स्टोन को ऐसे डाल दूं फिर उसके ऊपर एक और डाल दूं देन वन मोर फिर यहां पर एक और ले करूं साइड में देन ऐसे ले करूं सो देयर विल बी अ जॉइंट फॉर्मेशन हियर ये जॉइंट बन रहा है तो इट विल एक्चुअली फेल देयर सो यू रिक्वायर अ प्रॉपर बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन द स्टोन्स वर्टिकली एज़ वेल एज़ हॉरिजॉन्टली फॉर दैट यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड कोर्सेस इन डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड हेडर्स तो ये हमें खत्म करना पड़ता है द जॉइंट द वर्टिकल एज वेल एज हॉरिजॉन्टल जॉइंट हमें वो एज वेल एज अलोंग द थिकनेस तीनों डायरेक्शंस में हमें जॉइंट्स को खत्म करना है एंड वी रिक्वायर प्रॉपर बॉन्डिंग तो जॉइंट नहीं बनने चाहिए हमें क्या चाहिए वी रिक्वायर प्रॉपर बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन द स्टोन्स सो दैट्स व्हाई हेडर्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर्स आर प्रोवाइडेड सेकंडली अदर देन गिविंग अ गुड लुक थर्डली now you can have different combinations of stretchers and headers you can have many combinations we'll go into that once we discuss the brick masonry but here in the case of the stone masonry it's usually requ recommended ki yahan par do stretchers uh, ye ek hai ek layer mein do stretcher aa rahe hain this one this is one stretcher then you have a central one stretcher this is header Towards the end, you are having two stretchers. This is stretcher header. This is stretcher header, stretcher header. So the other layer is just stretcher header, stretcher header, stretcher header. So ye wali layer is me two ends pe jo aare the stretcher stretcher aare the aur uske baad header header stretcher header stretcher aare the. Other layer will be stretcher header, stretcher header and stretcher header. So what does this actually mean? Uh, isko chhod ke ye stretcher stretcher ko chhod ke. What you are actually getting is that each layer is cast into stretcher and headers. So each uh, course, jo is stone masonry ka hai in ashlar masonry, you have each course running into stretchers and headers. So that would mean it's a combination of stretcher and header courses are to be provided here. Combination of stretcher and header courses, and that's the best recommended in stone masonry. Because stones are quite heavy. Secondly, they are quite thick in size. And unka size kafi hota hai. If you provide this sort of combination of stretcher and headers, you will get a proper bonding between the stones in Ashler masonry construction. So th this is about how to lay it in different layers. And once we were talking about this, the rock or the quarry faced ones, the chamfering ones, the chamfering is done at 45 degrees. Uh, jo chamfering, uh, pada. So, and then you have the rough tool ones. So, and finally the block and course ones. So, this is the rough tool one, this is the chiseling. 
तो उसमें चिजलिंग टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर वाइड की जाती है अराउंड द एजेस तो उसको रफ टूल बनाया जाता है बाई चिजल फेसेस अदर रिक्वायरमेंट आर सेम यू कुड बी यूजिंग मोटार हेयर एज इन द रबल मैशनरी एंड यू हैव टू डू द क्योरिंग एज वेल हेयर uh i talked about this already the dressing and others so next we go into the how do we actually test the stones for their different strengths so there is this code is1121 is1121 1974. Now this code is meant for method of testing. So part one is का जो है testing of the natural building stones के लिए 1974. Again it has been re revised in 2008 and 9. So this is edition 2.1 of this code. So part one is का compressive strength के related है. So what is given in this code is how to do the test for the compressive strength let me straight away go to the apparatus again you could be using the apparatus to isme aapko kyunki stones ki capacity kafi zyada hai 100 megapascals so you require a ctm which would have at least 3000 kN ki capacity ki ctm aapko chahiye to test a stone to us machine mein aapko do steel plates chahiye upar aur niche chahiye there is a figure given here what you require is this uh, i'll just be making the figure roughly so you have to place plate at the top and you have to place plate at the bottom bottom and top pe do plates rakhe jate hain and then you put up a stone in between and the ctm loads this stone from the top and the bottom and it's getting compressed तो इनको हम कंप्रेशन प्लेट्स भी कहते हैं दीज वंस और द बेयरिंग प्लेट्स भी कहते हैं तो दे डू नॉट दे इंश्योर डेट द स्टोन्स डू नॉट फेल इन बेयरिंग तो कहीं पर उनमें छोटी क्रैक आ जाए और इट विल फेल एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ द चिप में फॉल तो यू विल गेट अ फॉल्स रिजल्ट देन तो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टोन्स के लिए अदर देन द ग्रेनाइट यू कैन इजिली गो फॉर अ मिनिमम रेंज सी टी एम जो कि आप कॉन्क्रीट के लिए भी इस्तेमाल कर रहे हो द सेम कुड बी यूज हेयर एज वेल फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑफ द स्टोन्स तो जो इसके टेस्ट पीसेज है तो जो डायमीटर है ऑफ द टेस्ट पीस शुड नॉट बी लेस पचास एम का डायमीटर होना चाहिए टेस्ट पीस का एटलीस्ट सो इट्स बेटर टू कास्ट सिलेंड्रिकल वंस एंड द उसमें ऑफ द स्टोन्स एंड यू हैव दिस रेशियो ऑफ हाइट टू द डायमीटर जो इसका है दिस दिस इज फिफ्टी एम एम डायमीटर इज एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी एम फिफ्टी एम एम या उससे ज्यादा होना चाहिए एंड इनके बीच में जो रेशियो है तो इट शुड नॉर्मली बी एटलीस्ट थ्री द रेशो बट इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन वन कुछ पूछना आपको नो सर हाउ इट्स डन एंड दिस इज द कोड दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर Uh, so IS one one two one nineteen seventy four revised in two thousand eight and nine. You can use for doing the compressive test for part one. Part two of this is the tensile of the same code. Is for this is for tensile or the transverse uh, strength test. Or part three is the tensile. 
this is part three, which is tensile. Part two is for the transfer load test. So you can do a transfer load test like this on a flexural testing machine. So this is your flexural testing machine. Yeah. You are loading <coughs> the sample here through the flexural testing machine. So a rod is super low down here transversely, and it's being placed between two supports. And so it's like a flexural test, bending test. Ki hai. So, uh, when, once you are doing this transverse load test. So a specimen because your size has it has to be somewhere 200 by 50 cross 50. So it will be like a beam uh, here. So you can do this test as well onto the stone to get its transverse flexural loading capacity. Third one is the tensile load test. This one. So what do you do in this is you place it as a cylinder, as a split cylinder. So the upper wall plate here, this is the lower plate. And these plates are placed again on the CTM to upper say CTM ka load are so a cylinder, which has again got 50 mm minimum thickness or the diameter or test piece. We have one is to one so ratio se laker, jo ke abhi bataya, height to or this ratio could be one is to one, say Laker, three is to one, tuk. or is my diameter of the minimum, 50 mm minimum. It has to be for the cylinder. So, this is the cylinder. cylinder ko dala jata hai. So, it's a split cylinder test for the stones. So, once it's loaded, it will fail along this plane. So, you will get this tensile strength in the other direction because you are compressing in this direction. So you'll get the tensile load in this direction. 